morning, police. Stop, stop. I want my new head Go on, man. Distress, distress. Come on, board. Come on, board. So, I'm going to have to put this for the person. Yeah? In a good amour. In a good amour. Just bite it. So, the rope for the side? Hold on, put the rope down. Let me put one. No, you can't have the pan front. Come on, come on. No, the pan front. Snap the door, move up. No, I want to do the pull out from. I want to do the weapon, man. Hustle, hustle, and fishing, man. Oh, the wall and the wall. Hustle, hustle, and fishing, man. Pull out from. Oh, yes, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, man, I the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. the I the I the I the 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 just go to sea and come back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, them just don't go? Weed, no, they just use and close, yeah. And so I mess up them, them the food, them just come Oh, you don't go to sleep. You don't go to sleep, you don't go to sleep. You don't want to sleep, you don't want to sleep. Yeah, ma'am, please, officer. Oh, yeah, yeah. If the fish bite, officer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we have to play a game, the fish bite. Good, man, be a poor man. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on a blessed and wonderful Thursday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog, so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. We're going to kick it off with some updates. So over the weekend, a knockings and clappings took place 
place over there in the St. Catherine North Police Division. A popular violent community known as Green Pan, yeah man, where I made mention briefly about a knockings and clappings that took the life of a youth known as Little Man. Now on the spot news media has gotten the full details on that controversial figure known as Little Man. Now Little Man is a known old dirty corner boy, a real old knocky and clappies in the streets. A real criminal element that has plagued the communities of Green Pond and its surrounding. So when Little Man met his demise over the weekend, trust me, there was a lot of hurrah in the hearts of the ones and ones them in those communities. Now it is said that Little Man was sent for by his father who resides among you members of the diaspora in the United States of America. Little Man took up the offer, went to the United States. His father is a regular member of Jan Public who does a 9 to 5 and invited him to join him to work for a honest bread. It is said that after three months, Little man went back to Jamaica and stated that yo foreign too hard and him can't bother with the 9 to 5 lifestyle like him father. Well his father definitely smelled the rat and tried his utmost best to help his troubled son. No little man came back to Jamaica and continued his life of crime and over the weekend his life was taken by other criminal elements in the green pan area so for those who listening on and is considering to take up that dirty kind of boy lifestyle your demise will definitely be no different than that of little man yeah man and also in this morning's vlog i made mention of a knockings and clappings that took place over there on milton road in waterford portmore that left two National Solid Waste Management Authority workers lifeless. Yeah, man. So the men that lost their life, I mentioned that it was a single loss of life, but it has now become a double loss of life since news time. So the persons that lost their life is this man presently on your screen, Shakish Jackson. He's of a Cockburn pen address in Kingston. And the next man who end up at Loose Film Tree Pines is 49-year-old Paul Jackson of a Kid Lane address of Waltham Park Road, also in Kingston. So as I stated earlier this morning that they were pounced upon by armed criminal elements who opened gunfire hitting them all over their bodies. The injured men was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where both succumbed to injuries whilst undergoing treatment. Poor I may tell my peeps the thing rough out a John shop there. And also on Tuesday, in Tuesday's vlog, I made mention that a tap knackis and clappies from Arnett Gardens, more popularly known as Jungle, get arrested and charged for a big fat matic found in a car in the Cassava Peace era of the St. Andrew North Police Division. We are talking about the Kansan Spring squad of them. So watch this now, my peeps. The news article did not reveal the name of the gangster, but on the spot news media, as always, do his research and bring it forward to you, the regular members of Chan Public. Now, the top knockies and clappies come from a section of Arnett Gardens known as Havana Scheme. Yeah, man. So for those who is familiar with the Havana Scheme, it's that scheme depending on where you're traveling from. Traveling to Black Roses Corner from Callismith Drive. Having a scheme would be to the right of the second roundabout. Yeah man. Now the Nakis and Clappis has since been identified by his criminal underworld name. He has been identified as a man known as Prezi. Now Prezi and a female companion was traveling along the Cassava Peace main road sometime about 5 p.m. when they were stopped by police personnel from the St. Andrew North Police Division. 
It is said that a search was conducted by the lawmen and an illegal firearm was found in the car. So both the male and the female was taken into custody and has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. So Prezi will not be coming home anytime soon. And also to note my peeps, Prezi recently got off a similar charge of knockings and clappings with intent and illegal possession of firearm. But because police witnesses did not turn up to court, he got off that case scotch-free. But now in this case, the police don't need no witness because they themselves are the witness in this matter. So Prezi, your food get nyam. Plate broke after prison, you go. Yeah, man. So, watch this now, my peeps. I have a list of wanted men published by the police. So, you, of course, the regular members of Chan Public, is being asked to assist the police in finding these criminal elements. Now, the first man presently on your screen has since been identified as Oswald Kelly. He is charged for possession of forged documents and unlawful possession of property. Now this brother here is what we call locally as a scammer. Yeah man. So he frequents the Ebonneville era of Spanish Town in St. Catherine. So if seen, please alert the police. And the next man presently on your screen has since been identified as Corey Parchment, who is wanted for your knockings and clappings with intent. This man frequents the Fraser content communities of Spanish Town St. Catherine. The next man presently on your screen is definitely no stranger to on the spot news media, no stranger to you, the regular members of Chan Public watching on the spot news media, as he has been featured several times. I think by now this man is no longer in the island at all. Probably get through the Mexican border and are living best life and a laugh after we down here in Jamaica. He has since been identified as Dean Norman, otherwise known as Max in the criminal underworld. Now this man is wanted for your knockings and clappings that took the life of a man. This man frequents the Berwick district in Riversdale, St. Catherine. Now the next man presently on your screen has since been identified as Brian King, otherwise known as Marlon. This man is wanted for your knockings and clappings with intent. He frequents Fletcher's Land, Kitson Town, and the parish of St. Catherine on a whole. Last but definitely not the least, a man known as Junior Brown. Definitely no stranger to on the spot news media or to the police. This man is definitely wanted for your knockings and clappings that took the life of a man. Yeah, man. So be reminded to you know, my peeps, the regular members of Chan Public out there, and also to the criminal supporters, it is indeed a serious crime, a felony, for harboring a known fugitive. You can find yourself behind bars for a lengthy time. So I could see who you love most. My granny used to say, you know, of all my mother's children, I love myself the most. So if you love the criminal element the most, go on to jail with him. Go on go drink and toast. <laughs> yeah, man. So anyway, again, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So blessing to on the spot news media spotters in the streets that keep spotting these criminal elements and putting them on the spot. Yeah man, so remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.